My last fence project went okay, but I made a few mistakes and I'm gonna try and fix them on this one, which is my next fence project. Before we start, let me show you my very short fence building resume. The first fence I built was chain link and it was not easy. The material was all nine gauge, heavy duty, really hard to work with. It was really expensive, so I was trying to be careful with it. Plus, I was in a hurry. I was lucky when I was putting in the gate post that I had a concrete crew there who were pouring a slab, so they gave me a hand and ordered extra mud to help set the post, so that was nice. And I didn't really film much of the rest of it, but I learned a ton about chain link. I learned all about the hardware and the fittings and, and how to install it. And the, ma the biggest thing I learned, I think, was that taking on a fence project like this without a tractor or a skid steer was, was just dumb. But that's a story for another day. The next fence that I built was out of this split rail cedar that my parents had in their field. It had been out there for a few years. Someone gave it to them, and they said I could have it. So I put it up around my place in several different spots, and it was a total pleasure to work with. Just polar opposites from the chain link. So easy, so simple, so fast, and it looked great. And I, I did learn a lot working with it as well. It, the material is so irregular that it really helped me get comfortable eyeballing things. I mean, there's pretty much no way to put a level on this kind of fencing and you don't have to so i love the look of the fence and i have a bunch left so i'll probably be putting some more up one of these days this is the next fence i did and i shared it in a previous video this is the one i mentioned at the start here where i made a few mistakes well those mistakes were related to the spacing of the posts and what, what happened is the, the pickets are supposed to cover these steel posts. And they did that on one side, but on the back, because the spacing was irregular, there were several of the posts that were visible, which really annoyed me. Now, it wasn't a problem. The neighbor didn't mind. He just has cows and sheep out here. So it's not a problem, but I know that if I had done things a little differently, I could have worked it out. So the pickets covered the post on both sides. And so that's the problem I want to try to solve on this next fence. Using these two by fours as spacers to keep the distance between posts exact all the way down the fence. And it's slowing things down and making this part of the process take a lot longer, but I'm hoping it will speed things up once we're putting the rails and pickets on because we won't have to cut any of the rails and the pickets will then cover these posts on both sides. So hopefully this works out the way I'm imagining. All right, guys, fast forward a little bit here. I didn't run the camera last night, but we got a good chunk of these pickets up, but we've got quite a few to go. We've got about two thirds of it to go.
Well, the rails and the pickets went pretty smooth. I think that the extra effort in getting the post spaced precisely really paid off and it was pretty much smooth sailing, although it still took a while. That has got to be the biggest difference between me doing a job like this and a, a professional is that a professional would probably have just thrown all of these pickets and rails up like in one day and it took us several days granted it was always just like a couple hours here a couple hours there of whittling away at it i really like this style of fence and i can't take credit for it my friend dennis who's helping me he first started building fences like this i think in the 70s he said and i don't know how you could have a more beautiful and long-lasting fence and of course it hinges on whether or not you can find a 1x12 cedar. That is not common. Around here, there's a lot of cedar trees growing, so I guess all you really need are cedar logs. That's what happened here. These came from a, a rancher who had some cedar trees that came down um, a few years ago, so he sawed them up on his sawmill and sold them, and I'm really happy with it. I really like building fences. It's You're upright, you're outside, they're really beautiful, it makes things look nicer, and they last a long time, and I'm a fan. So I've got a few more places on the property to build fences, but this is gonna be it for now. Thanks for watching Essential Craftsman. Keep up the good work. We'll catch you next time.